Breaking crypto news. The SEC suffers yet another loss in its fight against crypto because Congress is saying you got to come to us first before going after these exchanges like Coinbase. Government accountability oversight finds controversial SEC guidance is subject to congressional oversight. The SEC's bulletin has been the target of much criticism in the crypto community. So what is this bulletin that has been used to attack crypto that Congress is saying isn't really valid at this point? Pretty massive. The bulletin used hypothetical situations to describe what the SEC considered best practices to safeguard crypto assets held by platforms like Coinbase, Binance, PayPal. Obviously, the SEC is in court with all these exchanges and Congress and powerful players really want crypto to thrive. So they're shutting down the SEC. So we're starting to see Bitcoin spot ETFs emerge on the websites of massive financial institutions. BTCO is the ticker for Invesco Galaxy Bitcoin ETF. We saw the BlackRock one. Now we're seeing this one. There's like six, seven, or eight more to come, right? Absolutely massive. We're still in the early stages, but it's going to be more exciting when the altcoin ETFs come, right? So that's really what we're positioning for. The Anchor Protocol. This comes from the founder. By offering the ability to build on ZK Sync Era, that's a Ethereum layer two, via Anchor's Microsoft Azure Marketplace solutions, we are breaking barriers to entry for an array of Web3 businesses that need infrastructure. So Anchor is a tool of Microsoft. It's an extension of the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. Absolutely valuable early stage software. Then we have the Flow blockchain hitting 500 million transactions, right? Growing in the crypto winter. We want to stay on top of the assets that are building and emerging from the crypto winter strong, like the Cosmos ecosystem. So in pink, we see the price of the Atom token. In green, we see active users, right? Hitting an all-time high.